What an improvement. <laughs> 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 Only uphill from here. <laughs> Girls, as a group, are exceptionally good at having fun. Way better than boys, and way, way better than grown-ups. I can feel your skepticism, but hear me out. Most every boy I know plays Fortnite. They obsess over it. Entire months of their lives have been devoted to playing this game. When their parents begin to worry that perhaps their sons should take a break after hours of virtually shooting their friends, they just jump on a Zoom call and talk about it. Nah. <laughs> we should all admit that this is a very strange and pointless waste of time. Now, I'm not saying girls don't do strange things also. We do. Dedicating hours to braiding someone else's hair comes to mind. <laughs> Painting our nails might be another, especially the see-through kind. I mean, what really is the point of transparent nail polish? I'm sure there's a terrific backstory there. So you love painting nails. If so, you will love our new clear nail polish. You never know when you're done, so you can keep painting your nails forever. <laughs> but all things considered, I'd say our methods of play are equally enjoyable and useful. Every girl I know enjoys playing family. It's great. We get to do all the things we can't do in real life, like having do a dog without needing to pick up its poop. You know how many boys have played family with me and my friends? Any guesses? None. That's right, zero. zero. <laughs> this creates a re real challenges, like deciding which girl should pretend to play husband. This creates other challenges, like setting us up to be disappointed by real husbands. But we anyway, <laughs> because it's fun. There is also a good chance that many of us girls will grow up to have families. It's great practice. Meanwhile, boys around the world, the future crop of potential husbands, is busily preparing for World War III, assuming it will be fought with thumbs while sitting on couches in front of big screen TVs. I'm giving boys a hard time, but at least these boys seem to be enjoying themselves. Grown-ups, on the whole, don't seem to have much fun at all, and what's worse is that they seem annoyed when others do so. Grown-ups developed a strange term called goofing off. I haven't figured out just what they seem to mean by it. What if I told you grown-ups that I discovered an amazing way to de-stress while getting exercise and building relationships? That's goofing off. Parents should try it. Way healthier than drinking. <laughs> Every kid knows that they can't have too much fun goofing off because grown-ups find it annoying. No kid knows for sure why this is the case. It's an even bigger mystery than transparent nail polish. But I have a theory. I think grown-ups get annoyed when they see anyone having, do, uh, having fun doing things they can't do. That's really it. Take the grocery store, for instance. There's no better place to play tag or hide and seek than the grocery store. But no, parents can't have that. Instead, we must walk next to them and pretend to be interested in nutritional facts and bread price. Who wouldn't love to scream at the top of their lungs while their sister pushes you in a shopping cart in aisles of frozen foods? The look on grown-ups' faces is the best part. And that's why goofing off in the grocery store isn't allowed. Because if parents let their kids do it, then they would want to do it. Then everyone would do it, and then we would all be happy. Then we would stop buying a bunch of stuff we don't need, and the entire world economy would collapse. <laughs> And that's why kids around the world know that too much goofing off inevitably ends in a, hey, quiet down and act miserable like normal people. <laughs> it seems to me that grown-ups don't even try to have fun. They prefer to have fun by complaining about things that make them miserable. At least that's the way it appears. When was the last time you saw a grown-up actually enjoying talking about politics? Or how about work? Grown-ups work all week to have a couple of days off and then they complain about work. You never see kids doing that. I've never heard a friend of mine be like, you know, I really can't wait to get promoted to the third grade. All my extra credit surely deserves a promotion. No way I'm spending my weekends talking about work. That's just ridiculous. Almost as ridiculous as spending hours virtually shooting my friends. But hey, I'm just a girl. What do I know? Yay! <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.